All right, welcome to uh, GDC Hot Dog. I'm dropping your uh, July. Thank you. I don't know how well you can hear this, um, but we are now on BART because Rachel drove off without us because she had a thing to get to early today. And she had to go hang out with Tim Schaefer at Double Fine. Maybe. That's, if, that's if, true. That's what she told me. Okay. If so, she was late because she said even though she left at 8 to get to a thing at 10, she was still late. So she should have taken part and left us the car. Well, that's, that's what she gets, right? What? That's what she gets for, uh, for taking her, the car, right? For abandoning us, yeah, yeah with no uh, transport. This is, this is going to be a short one because the... Uh, the part is fast. The part is fast, and because, yeah, most of the transport we've been doing is, is going to be walking. And I didn't want to pull this out of the streets of Fruitvale. This might end up being the most unlistenable of all. I mean, like every other train hot dog episode of all the uh, GDC the, hot dogs. The, the most unlistenable of the GDCs. Right, the, yes. But it only can sink as low as the bar set by a train hot dog. Well, it's it's different because it's a, it's a group recording. Like, normally I record with a microphone like... like directly in your mouth? Yeah, pretty much. Okay, good. And this one is like a, a room mic, almost. Oh, bad. Just when you think you've hit bottom, someone just throws you a shovel. Yeah, this, this could just be like the <laughs> recording. So it gives you a backhoe. Right, right. Yeah. So, we were having a good discussion before we got on this part. Yeah, you, it's too late now. I don't you can, remember what, was, what we were even talking about. Something about politics? Yeah. Or, uh... Jonathan we Blow. were talking about whether Bernie Sanders would support ISIS. <laughs> that, that was it. Yep. No, no, no. It was whether he was in the Taliban. <laughs> right. <laughs> because because he's, the way that you said Palestine started to sound like Taliban. Right. It, it's got the same. It's got some of the same syllables. It's got the same syllabation. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's a Sybil. Sybil? Yeah. An Auger. Would Would Bernie Sanders like Sybil? I don't know. Would Bernie Sanders write a song about Sibby? Bernie Sanders will never, ever, 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 ever write a song about Sibby. <laughs> okay, then. I guess we can drop that. Uh, I did see someone with a Trogdor tattoo yesterday. I Wow, that's cool. Yeah, I was like, oh, wow. That's, that's a thing I haven't seen in a long time. Me either, even, or ever. Even in the new Homestar Runners, like, they don't even talk about Trogdor anymore. Yeah, no, they, uh... I think they got tired of them. Yeah. They did do a, a Trog's Day anniversary cartoon one year, the anniversary of Trogdor, where Strong Bad berated the audience for ruining Trogdor, just like the internet ruined, like, cats and Strong Bad. <laughs> sure, yeah. I, was that recent? That was, like, six years ago, maybe. Right. Longer. I remember they were supposed to have this big comeback. They and did. They put out, like... I think their last cartoon was in December. Right. They've been putting out, like, three episodes a year for That's the past year. That's way better than their la That's, last... Like, no, you're right. You're right. That's a real thing. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they still work for Nickelodeon, right? So. Oh, I didn't know that. They were on uh, Yo Gabba Gabba. Right. I think. What? And then they were on the Aquabat Super Show. That's so sad. Starbad was totally the villain of an episode of the Aquabat Super Show. Really? Yeah. I'll have to check that out. Was, he had a different name, but he like was very clearly Strongbad. He had the Strongbad mask and he talked like Strongbad. Okay. Yeah. He was uh, I think he was called the like he was a magician, like a con man magician. Named something like the Amazing Abazo. Uh-huh. Oh they they couldn't use the existing name because it was too dumb. Strong, strong bad. Yeah, that's too dumb. They gotta go with the amazing Amazo. Yeah. He was if, he, if they were really adventurous, he would have been also made out of corn. Oh yes, I get it. And he would have lived in Amazing Maze Cave, have, the Mario 64 level. Yeah. I hate that level. It's like one of my two least favorite Mario 64 levels. What's what's another one? Uh, I think the Rainbow Cloud Trip yeah. zone. Yeah. Was also 
a level I very much disliked. Yeah, that level was just like a bunch of stuff and like floating. Yeah. I, I think my favorite was the tiny big island. Uh, yeah, and related, uh, Wet Dry World. I, I like that one. Like, I, I like both of those a lot because they recontextualize the same geometry. Yeah. Well, because Tiny Big World was a, was, like, Giant Land was in Mario 3. Oh, yeah, that too. Yeah. And then they brought it's it a callback as well. Yeah, and they also did a Giant World in uh, Galaxy 2, I think. I believe you're right. They also had that world in Galaxy 2 that was literally just the Flops Fortress from... That was like up res to like Wii graphics. Yeah, that was amazing. Yeah, to, I was I was very happy with that. Yeah, I would have been happy to see the whole game done that way. Actually. Yeah, it exists on the Nintendo DS as a launch title. Uh, except with horrible controls. The controls were that bad. Uh, you use a D pad to uh, like. You could use the you could use the touch screen. You you could use as a. Did you listen to the? Uh, J.P. LeBreton episode of Video Games Hot Dog where I talk about that. A little thumb dub on the screen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did hear that. Yeah, if you want to know how I feel about that, you can go download the Video Games Hot Dog episode that J.P. LeBreton uh, guessed it on. But the short version is that it was garbage. Everyone had one. It's true, and no one used it. Yeah, well, I think the idea was that yeah, you would put it around your wrist and then you wouldn't lose your, your 3D. You wouldn't lose your DS when you were waving it around and throwing it at the Wii. Right. Yeah, I mean, I think I might have used the wrist strap as a wrist strap, but sure. ne never... I definitely used it to, like, when it was slightly too far away, grab onto it, reel it, the system. Sure, yeah. When you're, like, handcuffed to the bed. Yeah, exactly. And, like, your captor is coming back, and you need the 3DS right now. No, it was only the regular DS. Oh, right, yeah. Because, you know, the 3DS is, like, six years old. Really? As a system, yeah. That's why it makes sense that the new 3DS exists. Like, it is actually t really time for them to refresh their handheld cycle. Oh, you're right. You're right. I remember... I remember playing Mario 3D World in, like, 3D Land in, like, 2011. And that wasn't the launch title either. Yeah. I like the new 3DS. How new is it? It's got a, it's got a C stick on it. Which is pretty helpful. Yeah. Yeah. It's got a, it's got a, like a, an L, Z, and an R, Z, in addition to L and R buttons. Well, that's just weird. Yeah, so they're basically... I've got one. You can just look at it. Okay, but the listener... Good, good for listeners. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll go just... Go to Wikipedia and look up a, or go to Google and, and look up a picture of I'll you. just describe the experience to the listener. Oh, a, weird. So, so it's like... It's like a console controller. Right, but... Uh, so... You, you still only hold it like this. You can hit both of them with one finger. Right, right, right. And that's that's a significant difference from like a dual shock. Right, where the they're, they're staggered. Right. We use so the index and middle finger for it, but this one used the index finger for both of them. Yep. It's got a C stick here. Oh, weird. Yeah. That. And it's, you can see it's got like a little indent there, so it doesn't catch. It's got a bottom loading cartridge. Right. Uh, it's way faster. Faster. Yeah, it's got a better processor. Like, fa do you do you Boy, notice so. it in yes. games? Yes, the load times on games are significantly shorter. That's interesting. Um, which is like people, like the, I think there's one new Nintendo DS exclusive game right now, and that's the port of the Wii Xenoblade game. Gotcha. And it runs fine. And I think people through emulation were able to force it to run on a regular non-new 3DS and it just runs at like 60% speed like the clock speed of the CPU and it's too slow to handle it gotcha yeah and all of the SNES virtual console games are only on the new one and I think that's probably a marketing thing and not a power thing yeah the Nintendo claims that only the new 3DS has the processor required to handle what they're calling perfect pixel mode which is one to one accurate pixel representation of what a Super Nintendo did uh huh without any I guess like ghosting or stuttering or whatever. I mean, it, like the SNES 9X definitely had some issues with that. I recall. Yeah, no, it's it's uh, if there you can you can get more or less accurate emulation. Like I remember running games on my 486 with Z SNES, and never liked Z SNES. They they worked. You could play them, but then there were like weird layering issues and, and stuff. yeah, yeah, and like some games would do. 
like like scan like basically stuff with scan line timing and that stuff wouldn't get translated. Yep. So yeah, I get that. But I'm pretty sure that like SNES games ran fine on the Game Boy Advance, as I recall. Yeah, but they had to port them to the Game Boy Advance. Yeah, but I think that like in terms of raw power, the Game Boy Advance was more powerful than the Super Nintendo. Yes, definitely. So I'm not sure I buy their story about only this, only this system. March 2016. That is right now. Unless you're listening to this. In which case it's later. Oh yeah, it's been out for months for you guys. Yeah, because they've got the, their first mobile game is supposed to come out this month. Oh shit. Was that the Pokemon Go? No, that's not it. That's not one of their like eight mobile games or whatever. That's like a separate endeavor with the their first mobile game is called Tomo, and it is a social network where you can input a bit of information about yourself and then you can like street pass people with your phone that also use it and it will trade information about you and your friends. And I don't think that that's a game. Listeners, I'm gritting my teeth. I was like, ah, oh, Nintendo, I don't, I don't think you understand what a, what a game is if that's your definition of a mobile game. Yeah. You know, they made a bunch of mobile games for the 3DS. Yeah. Like, and I know They just... did po- a bunch of them, like, I think the Pokemon, Picross, and, like, uh, Trozy, not, like, I think those are on, or at least in Japan. I think they just ported all that stuff. But Pokemon is its own separate company, so those don't count. Right. I wonder, wonder if, uh, here, I could look on the App Store right now. App Store search for Pokemon. Apple, Apple ID has been locked for security reasons. What happened? Oh, this is a good train hot dog app. I think it's probably just because, like, they, uh, Ansel, unlock my email. Sure. Did, did Apple have its, uh, security compromised and they locked everybody's account? Did I, uh...
go to my email, see if I can unlock this account. Updated just now. They didn't actually send me an unlock email. Even better. Alright. This is real trade hot dog material. It really is. I'm, I hope Murph writes about this. Yeah, alright. Next. Unlock by security question. That doesn't require them to send an email. Verify your birthday. I feel like that's not a very secure question. Uh, no one could guess that. And wasn't there like a guy who was able to steal thousands of high profile Apple passwords because like Apple's security question was like what are the last what are the last two digits of your credit card? Here are the, like here are the last two digits of your credit card, please fill in the last four digits. Oh yeah. And then Amazon's security question was, here are the last two digits of your credit card. He was able to like Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cannot verify identity. Your session has timed out. It's been like 20 seconds, Apple. Come on. So do I remember this right? Apple is the company with the great user experience. I don't know if I'd go that right. far. This is our stop. Oh, no. Good night, listeners. You're never going to find out whether I got into my Apple account or not.